Thanks for tuning in to The Happenings, where we talk about the happenings in your neck of the woods. All right, Hollywood, you're up. So y'all remember that time when Kim Kardashian was at the hotel when she was in France and she was robbed of $7.4 million in jewelry in 2016? Remember it was said that they, they tied her up, gagged her, and threw her in the tub, and then the police too failed to recover anything in the raid. And the thing about it was, Kim was staying in a luxurious hotel in Paris Fashion Week. And people were like, nobody would have known she had all that. This had to be an inside job. Well, it turns out that her chauffeur, who was driving her, her driver's brother, and 10 others, including two women, were rounded up for the theft and her driver's brother was the ringleader and they're saying that the ones that held her at gunpoint were between the ages of 60 and 72 years old what in the world is going and on and they're saying that the ringleader Amar a cadet had the nerve to write her an apology letter nice try after all you put her through so they have finally been charged and now they're going to trial for her jewel heist. Well, we all know when we see rappers coming into the game, they either renting jewelry or they own the jewelry. Something that they can invest in a home with. But they choose to buy jewelry, which is their right. You know, it's their money. But then further down the line in their career, you'll start seeing some of them going broke and say they, they record label robbed them and blah, blah, blah. And you know, Bow Wow was one of the people that couldn't budget his money, but now he's crediting Jay-Z for providing him with a good financial mindset, which I hope he takes heed to because he was one of the ones right and left getting their stuff repossessed and things like that he stated we got to start teaching the youth early about credit and how important it is it's cool to have cash but with good credit man the world is yours nothing like looking at all three scores and you have a 730 or better learn the importance of having good credit trust me so he went on ahead and said it was jay-z's 4-4 album that provided him with the blueprint because after teaching him that mindset he said he never looked back. He said, can't lie, Jay-Z 444 album got me on my stuff, and I ain't never looked back. Good for you, Bow Wow. And it's being said that Jay-Z's 444 album did talk about a lot of things that people needed to know, like generational wealth and having a legacy for your children. And so if you get it by reading books or listening to someone, however you get the knowledge is fine. Just try to use it. So Lil Boosie has always been in the news lately for negativity towards the LGBTQ community. Well, I just say Lil Nas X. But he did something positive this time. The 39-year-old Baton Rouge native has already released his 10th studio album, but he was initially set to release his Back to Baton Rouge and Mississippi on this Friday that has passed but because of the tragic loss of young Dolph. He postponed it to November 25th. And Boosie shared this announcement on Twitter on Thursday, November the 18th. He said, I'm going to set my album date back to the 25th of November with respect for the hashtag Dolph Situation. Back to BR and Mississippi. Both albums drop on November the 25th. And by Boosie doing that, he gained praise for how he paid respect to young Dolph. And since we're on a positive note with Lil Boosie, in other Boosie news, the rapper it says he's enrolling at Jackson State next semester. And he stated this news on a video posted to Well Off Media's YouTube page, which was recorded by Deion Sanders Jr. And Sanders Jr., he posted this link to the video on Twitter after Jackson State beat his rival, Alcorn State, 24 to 10, and in front of a sold out crowd at the Soul Bowl. Boosie stated, I've been coming to Jackson since I was 14, and I love y'all. Y'all love my stinky drawers, and I love y'all back. And I just wanted to tell y'all that y'all always been supportive of me, and it's a big secret. I was going to let it out, but I'm enrolling in Jackson State next semester. And so, yes, if any of y'all were wondering if he even finished high school, he did. So he can enroll in college because Torrance Hatch earned his GED certificate while he was in prison in 2013. Well, that's all I have for you guys at the moment. Subscribe to the channel for more updates. Give me a thumbs up. Share if you care. Turn on your post notifications so you'll know when the next time I upload. 
Comment on the happenings below and also comment what's the happenings in your neck of the woods.